Hello again from the front of my front porch. See, it's, it's, it's back there. It's back there with snow miser and heat miser peeking out the window. But, you know, I talk a lot about uh, what Lisa does at Halloween time with her Halloween displays. But we haven't focused as much about what she does at Christmas time. And this still isn't her full display. There's other stuff of her still in storage uh, that did not get out. And there are a couple of things that were added this time that were not previously out before uh, like like this little elf on the shelf guy over here somewhere and then there's a snowman somewhere here behind me way way back the inflatable one back there but you see this is quite the display and I feel bad because I feel like I should stand out of the way uh, so that you can see the display is isn't that nice uh, but you know the funny thing is Lisa will tell you that her displays have evolved over the years in fact she was showing me pictures of what her very first uh, Christmas display looked like and it was much much different than what you see behind me here right now uh, and this <laughs> the, uh, yeah this is this has grown over the years it is now more of an obsession for her it's like Halloween only not as much Halloween is a, still a bigger holiday for her but you know we go to the stores and she walks by the aisles where they had the inflatables and and you know when when you know most people walk by those areas and go, oh that's fun that's cool that's cool when she's looking at stuff, she's looking not just whether it's fun and cool, but whether it would fit in with what she's trying to do. <laughs> and so, you know, of course, we have the, the wiener dog because of Wiggles, you know, the dog inside. And, uh, and Lisa is a big fan of nutcrackers. And there's not a nutcracker out here, but the little soldier guy back there, he's, he's kind of close to the same thing. And, of course, you have to have Santa. And if you're going to have Santa, you have to have Nightmare Before Christmas Santa as well. But she is especially proud of these three uh, mold ones here. Uh, and you know, the, she, she, the story she has told me is that she got them when she was on base, when, when her and her ex-husband uh, were living on the Marine base. Uh, and, uh, uh, and when it comes time for people to move out, when, when they get relocated, a lot of times, people don't take everything with them. They just throw stuff out. And those three, those three mold characters there, uh, somebody had just thrown out. That they, they, were, they were moving, they had to relocate, and they just threw them out. And so uh, she rescued them from, from the dumpster and, uh, and they continue on. We refurbished them a little bit this year. Uh, Mrs. Claus had a broken candy cane, so we reconnected stuff there. We, we redid the, the, the sand and weight stuff inside them and we gave them new lights that are um, uh, uh, not, not, not the, the regular hot fluorescent ones, but the LED ones so that they, they uh, don't have so much heat inside them. They'll last longer and not fade the color. So that'll be nice for them too. And then you can't quite see in the daytime, but when we have these spirally tree things and stuff, they're lit up. It looks a lot cooler at night here, see? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a really cool shot at night. And so anyway, I just had to take a moment and show you, because we always talk about in the front porch and we talk about in the from the back deck and behind the, but it's not very often that I've actually brought you, in fact, this may be the first time that I've brought you out here to the front yard out in front of the front porch, uh, but I had to, to to just kind of show off this really nifty display. Oh, oh, hey, I forgot to mention also the flamingo. That's of course for Sophia because she really loves flam flamingos. Uh, but uh, that's the that, oh oh, and the gnome. The gnome is new this year too. This this blue gnome over here because Lisa also likes gnomes. Uh, so. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there you go. There, there's, there's Lisa's Christmas display in my front yard this year. Uh, and as I said, that's not even all of it, folks. There's a whole lot more she could have had out, but this, this is all we got done. Now, there's no snow, unfortunately, for the Christmas time, but hey, uh, it's still very festive in this front yard. And with that, I got to get back inside and finish up, get things ready for the festivities coming up. Now, I won't actually be here for Christmas, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately for time with my family and with Lisa and I will actually be with my son Alex and his girlfriend Natasha as Alex, one of Alex's gifts for me for Christmas is he's taking me to a Kansas City Chiefs football game on Christmas Day so that'll be a lot of fun uh, it'll also be cold because their stadium is outdoors <laughs> so uh, and, and there's some prediction of it might be a little bit rainy so hey cold and rainy yeah but I've never been to a professional football game Kansas City Chiefs or otherwise and so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, that, that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a great road trip with my son as well. 
But uh, so that's what I'll be doing this Christmas season. Uh, Lisa is going to be spending some time with her family as they get together Christmas Eve. And then her son is going to be coming over or her son and girlfriend will be coming over and they'll have Christmas here. And my extended family, uh, my, my siblings and my parents are having Christmas uh, in a little town just outside of Carroll on Christmas Day. Uh, and so lots of great festivities going on and whatever you're doing for Christmas, may you have a merry, happy holiday season. And may it be filled with love, laughter, and many new memories of this wonderful, joyous time. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And with that, I'll see you next time from my front porch.